Hello everyone, this is Aida Qolami from Agrimet Soft Research Company and I'm here to teach you the next session in the calibration process. So we uh, talked about how to make a new project in um, Swatka and how to um, like get to this window. Uh, I think in this um, part we'll go through um, this um, calibration inputs and like observation section no more but I don't know let's see so the first part is a parameter information as you can see parameter information that text so what it is here you choose your parameters for calibrating so here I have the CN2 alpha BF GW delay and GW QMN. All of this do something different for your model and do different things in order to calibrate your model. So this CN2 is very much related to the land use and like the because it's the CN curve and CN number and so um, it relates to the land use so you you must be aware that whatever you change here you are actually changing the uh, land use settings of your model so things to be considered then here what you can do is that you can add a new parameter from here here you can choose in what section is your parameter basin, parameters related to your basin, parameters related to soil um, characters, parameters related to the groundwater, you can see parameters related to the HRU segments, here is ESCO and EPCO are very much like popular and then other um, parameters so here you you want to choose from these set of parameters because you don't want to just um, select all these parameters and do the running it's not how it works so you have to choose parameters and then you have to run the simulation and then go through the analysis the, um, from here sensitivity analysis and see uh, what are uh, what um, parameters are the most sensitive or the lowest sensitive in these things so you don't want to just select a bunch of parameters and do the work so and here you have to <coughs> And here you have the number of parameters. It sure should be um, the number of these parameters. And here the number of simulations. Here I put it on 20. So um, a tip I want to tell you is that uh, when you don't um, have a proper like domain for your parameters so when you don't know which numbers should be put here then you don't want a very large a large number of simulations okay so the 20 or 50 or these numbers are enough for seeing um, how to change these numbers okay so you don't want to go through like 500 simulations so then here it has a firm view and it has a text view so um, me myself I work with the text view very much so here I think it's a uh, very um, easier <coughs> and a tip about this R relative or V replace here you can choose um, what like what method is used for using these numbers so each of them means something different if you click on the here it says about the methods multiples like r the r method r relative multiplies the existing value with plus one the given value 
a adds the given value to the existing value and v replaces the existing value with the given value and the warning if you choose v for spatial parameters such as soil parameters and cn2 then you will lose your spatial variability so here um like make it like a rule for cn2 you have always the r relative so you don't want to put it in other um, options. And the others are the V replace. And I will uh, say um, tell you some um, exceptions, but the most like reliable source for you here is the other thesis and articles done over. So you can just always go through them and see what you should do. And please do that because none of us our uh, ultimate source of knowledge and information so we always want to go through other works other researchers and ask them so what should we do so that's it for uh, this part parameter information and then we will go to sufi to sw edit dot def so here it says the starting simulation number and the ending simulation number the starting simulation number here is the one and the ending simulation number is what you have chose here so here it's 20 for me and if you're asking why it should ask the starting simulation number it's because you may run the simulation and just close it in the middle so for example you have put it on the 500 iterations and like 500 um, simulation number and then you just stop it at the 200 like simulations then for the next run you can come here and put it the first number on 200 and the next number on 500 so it doesn't uh, just repeat the 200 first number of simulations okay it, it will just continue from what it had stop, stopped um, before so then you want to go to the file co here i think it's arguably like the most important part of your swatka project so you want to consider every and each line of here to be correct um but i really meant uh, these four uh, first lines it it is very important that the number of years simulated should be exactly the same as what you have defined in your swap project beginning year of simulation also beginning julian day of simulation is always one and the begin ending julian day of simulation is always the ending um day of the year so, in other ways, it won't be around. So, please consider it. Don't waste your time. So, if you go a little um, down here, <coughs> you can see here um, some other components. And then, um, here it has another important thing number of years to skip output printing or summarization so this is the warm-up period so you have chosen two for, for me i have chosen two for the um, um, warm-up period and here it shows the two number so that's it and then we go to absolute swap values so so this is another part of this SWAT project and it um, includes all your SWAT parameters, all the parameters it can use for calibration and it um, includes the minimum and maximum range. So, so that's it. And then let's go to observation. So here, it, as you can see, it's a gray like um, it, it's not working option. So you must choose one of these options. Uh, now you can you must look to your hydrometry or your measured values and measured data. Why? Because then you must see if your measured data reach level or are in the HRU level or in the sub basal level. 
So as the hydrometry stations um, commonly are in the rich levels and are like hard hydrometry uh, data are um, commonly measured in the riches. So I will go for rich. Click on observed rich text and you can see this window number of observed variables here you should define the number of measured values you want to give it to to SWAT cup so here i have just the hydrometry stations um, numbers so i will give it one then you can see the flow out underline number so this number should be the number as you can see here this is the name of the variable and the sub base and number to be included in the objective function so this is the number of rich so this is the number of sub basin your rich belongs to so here for example i have the uh, i have my rich in the sub basin number two so, and then the number of data points for this variable as it follows below. So here, this is 141. And as you can see here, these are 141 numbers. So I should say some tips about this section and please follow me to the Excel sheets. So, <clears throat> So this is my data. This is my hydrometry measured data. So now you want this format and a tip in the like parenthesis to tell you, you see in the file CO that your, that your beginning year of simulation is, for example, whatever, for me is 1995. And then you have two years for warm up. So your calibration should be started or can be started from 1997. If you have data from 1997 to whatever year you have, so you can start it from 1997. In other cases, if you don't have data from 1997, you can start it from whatever year you have. So for example, you have data um, for 1999, it starts from 1999, so go for it. But I wanted to say that you cannot calibrate from 1991 because it's just in the warm up. So 1991, the first year, and then 1996, the second year, are the warm up period. So you 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 cannot do anything with this data it's just run and worms so back to here for example i have the data from starting from 1999 so here i want a format what format this format flow out flow underline out underline one two three to the number of months which is 12 underline the year so that's the format. I go here. You want to write in the first column flow underline out underline. I just copy it to all the cells. Then you want the number of months to 12. So I just uh, fill series to get to 12 and just copy it in other cells. So that's it. And then you want the number of years. So I have um, I have it started from 1999, and then I go for it. 1999, 2000, 2001, 9, and 10. 
So that's the years. And then here, I went uh, underline, copy it to all the cells. So here I use the concatenate uh, function. So I just put equal concatenate flow underline out underline as we said the number of the month underline year and that's it so flow out no, uh, for the month number one and the year 1990 i just copy it to other cells and then you want this section here because you want to copy it all. So I just copied these two columns to my Swatka project. Okay, okay, I just um, forgot one other thing because you here want the, so I just let me insert, yeah. Here, as you can see, it has a number. So it's just the number of the data. So I want the number. And I go for fill series and I just copy it to all the cells. So, and now I just select these three columns. I just control C and then go for um, swap cup. I select all these things. Okay, um, I forgot another thing. If you see this uh, window, you can see that these are another um, variables for calibrating. So here it was the number of observed variables at first was four, if you remember. And you can see that it has four variables. Variable number one, variable number two, which is still the hydrometry data because it's a flow variable. And then variable number three, which is still hydrometry. And variable number four, which is the um, quality parameter, it's nitrogen. Okay, so it's it was because of that that it has too many like um, rows and numbers. So I just want to delete all of them. I delete all of them and I just control V to paste my own hydrometry data and another tip you cannot use the default numbers in the SWAT cup so the numbers you saw before i delete them are just the um, samples so it's just for your own information it doesn't work you cannot run any simulations using them so please consider okay uh we arrived here and that's it for today's video i hope you all learned something new and in the next video i will come with these other uh, parts here and i hope in the next video we can run any uh, run a simulation so please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumb up and i will see you in the next video and bye